Hey, hopefully this one's my microphone. I don't know. Let me guys, uh, let me know if you guys can hear me. We're changing things up today. It's a whole new world out there. Hey everyone, this is Megan coming to you live from the Welcome Experience Center on a completely different workstation that I'm not used to working to. So, <laughs> glad to know that my audio is working. It's been a beautiful, moderate IT disaster of a last hour, but that's We're back. I move, you know, this is just my day. Hello, everyone. It's Wednesday. We'll just call it Audio Drop Wednesday. Maybe it's, hopefully it's not too hot. Let me know if it sounds like I'm yelling at you, but I'm trying not to. <laughs> um, yeah, so today we are just kind of going to chill. It's been a crazy week. Um, I know hopefully, hopefully if Cartoon Katie is able to tune in, uh, send her, <laughs> that's true, we can always turn our volume down in case I'm shouting, uh, send her all your well wishes. I know yesterday on her stream she felt like she was getting a cold, and I feel like that's kind of just the feels for this whole week. So um, in honor of feeling a chill week, it's been super rainy. Uh, don't veto me already. Jeez, guys, veto the colds, veto the colds, that's right. Um, but since it's been a super, super chill week, it's kind of that weird transition. It's been super rainy in Portland. Um, I thought we would just do some kind of cool, chill, like meditative drawing. Um, I am not the professional artist that you normally see on here by a long shot. Um, I typically leave these types of streams up to Carter and Christopher because their creative skills are really great, but there is one thing that I am moderately good at, and that is knowing how to make mandalas in sketchbook. So a few things before I start drawing in circles. It's actually going to happen. Um, sketchbook is free. So for anyone out there that doesn't know where to start with digital art or doesn't know you know, where to, I mean, what programs and things to use. Um, Sketchbook is a really great start. <laughs> I do, we'll do SketchUp next time. That's another, I need a whole nother computer for that. Um, but Sketchbook is cool. It's an Autodesk program. Um, it is free. I think a lot of Windows computers actually have it installed automatically on them, especially if you've got a Windows 10 laptop. Um, but it's really simple. It's a really sim simple sketching tool. It does have a lot of kind of more advanced tools, but again, <laughs> if you want a hot dog, I'm trying to watch this stream now and tell everyone about Sketchbook and you're posting about hot dogs. Hot dogs are the greatest food of all times next to hamburgers. But anyways, Sketchbook is great. So there's a couple things that I really like about Sketchbook, that little doodle not being one of them. Um, it has a really good, <laughs> it has a really good set of pens um, that I think are super cool. If you can see, hopefully that shows up. Okay, cool, that does show up. Um, it does have some free brushes and stuff that you can download. Here for cheese, Christopher, as soon as I get doodling, we can go back to talking about food. Uh, 
because I brought a banana and some cheese. I brought cheese today. I am here for cheese. Um, but yeah, there's some really cool brushes, cool tools that you can use. Um, I'm gonna try to find my favorite brush, which is somewhere, I think it's this one. That's it, this, this is called a traditional brush, go figure. It's just a nice like felt tip and why we are on black or brown, don't ask me. I did also make the mistake of moving all of the, the toolbars, so. Let's get me my color editor back. Put that back down to brown. Nope. Check this out. My other favorite thing is undo. Everyone likes a good, everyone <laughs> likes a good control Z. No, I'm not on the Intuos today. So specifically speaking, generally speaking, not specifically, whatever it is. Um, I do more, most often work on an Intuos Pro. Today I'm actually on a Cintiq and it doesn't have touch, so I'm gonna warn y'all now that that's gonna throw me off at some point because I think I'm just used to having touch, whether it's on the Intuos Pro or on the screen of my laptop. Um, it's, we're just getting, we're getting funky today. We're going crazy, we're going crazy. So now that I have my pen, there's this really cool feature in Sketchbook that allows you to, why isn't it working? Here we go. It allows you to have these kind of cross planes. So you can do vertical, you can have horizontal, or you can have this kind of radial cross plane pattern. You can increase the numbers on those. It's very cool. And what that allows you to do is literally make every single pen mark that you have look amazing because it'll duplicate it around. Ooh, touch on Cintiqs is a touchy subject. This specific Cintiq doesn't have touch. And it's, it's never there when I want it to be there. I only want it to be there if I need to rotate the canvas. Other than that, I don't ever want it there. But that's just me. I also don't have a glove like Christopher, so. I don't have any of that good palm rejection happening. Let's here, check this out. Check out this cool radio tool. It's not working, that's totally fine. It's because I'm not on my pen. There we go, see? So now everything we draw is gonna be duplicated on each of these planes, which is pretty great. Now, let's see, let's see if my keyboard, there we go. I had to charge up that keyboard, it was dead. He was dead. I also apologize if you guys end up just looking at the top of my head. It's okay, you just have to deal with it. Um, so yeah, there is another really cool thing um, called, um, it's like a line smoothing tool, which is nice. So it'll sort of correct your curves and that's someone trying to open the door behind me. It's fine, I won't let them in. Um, there's this line smoothing tool, which in a lot of cases I feel um, can be super irritating. That line smoothing tool will over, often overcorrect. I, I know, get out of here, go away, we're closed. Um, that line smoothing tool will overcorrect your line. So if you're a really, really good illustrator, your lines are very intentional. You know, your line is what you want your line to be. If you're someone like me and you're just doodling, sometimes it's really nice to use that line smoothing tool to your advantage. So I'm gonna show you an example here. First, we'll turn it off. So first, we'll turn it off. You see me shaking my head at this person. Um, this, I'm gonna get this kind of wacky, crazy line right now. And it's not, well, that one actually wasn't that bad. But sometimes my lines aren't super smooth. If I'm drawing in the morning and I've had, <laughs> thank you guys. Yes, the Walk'em Experience Center remains closed until further notice. Um, I'm like, also, I'm live streaming. He sees a camera in front of my face, so get out. I mean, come back when we're open, though, I promise. <laughs> I control those Google reviews, thank goodness. So you saw my janky lines without that line smoothing. With line smoothing, it's a pretty cool thing where it kind of does this like autocorrect, which I think is lovely. And in this instance, I think it's extra lovely because I like it to fix my wonky lines. Now, I'm drawing in the afternoon and not the morning, so I'm not all amped up on caffeine, but I do have seltzer. So we'll just get a good sugar rush going. 
that's all. So sometimes when you draw mandalas, and again, this is where I'm gonna be upset because I can't zoom in as easily as I want. Um, you always start with the center, and look at that. that you can't see that at all. I'm looking at this tiny, tiny screen, but it looks really cool, trust me. I like to start with little lines. Sometimes I end up making like little flowers. Um, if you are a student of art history, as I am, I think you can start looking through like textile patterns and other patterns that you find from different countries and different regions um, and try to like mimic those. And it's a really cool, oh, hey, Jess Collins, look at me, I'm doing a doodle. Oh, I should do a time lapse of my mandalas. I, if I get on a roll, I will crank out like 40 in an hour and that sounds insane, but they're very simple. So it's possible, you can do it. Um, but yeah, but I like to kind of look, you know, at either flowers or leaves or go back and kind of do a study of, I've always really loved like Egyptian art and the kind of patterns that they would use in stone carvings and hieroglyphics and things. So you can look at those patterns and then when you're making a mandala, you start at a center and kind of build out. And what's great is there's no right or wrong way to do it. You just do whatever you think looks great. <laughs> the bug in the bottom right. I know, I had, a, I had a doozy of a time getting some of these graphics set up and then, you know, life hit me and then someone tried to open the doors when we were closed and it's just, it's been a day, folks. It's been a day and it's only Wednesday. Oh, Jess, look at that little pup. I like that little puppo emoji. I do have some beats going. I don't know if you guys can hear those or if it's annoying. I had, I had Spotify set up on our other laptop and it would not pick up the pen. It wouldn't pick up um, pen input from the Cintiq, so that was frustrating, but that's okay. We keep going, it's all right. Now oh, I really wanna zoom in. Hey guys, pop quiz. What's the uh, key command to zoom in? Huh, anyone, anyone? <laughs> oh, spacebar. Is it? It's not working. You guys, you're failing me. It's not working. Oh, wow. Killing me, Smalls. It's all right. It's not my day. It's okay. Nope. See, that's when your line, that line smoothing tool is not good and you hate it. The other thing that's nice too is, especially when you have a touch screen and you're working on with this radial tool, you can lock it, which is great because if you keep it unlocked, you can move the center, which can be cool. Oh, I moved those pucks. See, I always remove those pucks too. It's all right, I'll get them back in a second. Um, but yeah, locking, locking the center of your radial uh, pattern is is key unless you want to move it but <laughs> he he does it's very true the all all-knowing all-powerful walk and experience center I think that's Carter he's my go-to he's my guru I mean you guys both are for reals but he's just I think he actually so Carter used to be real hardcore sketchbook boy I know this because he'd make really rad stuff in sketchbook all the time and I would watch, and it was great. And then I'd go, I don't know how to draw anymore. <laughs> nope, I don't like that line. Give me this back. I think I remember when I was a kid, we used to doodle on He would rip on Adobe. Adobe's trash. <laughs> Sketchbook is so much better. Sketchbook is really great. Sketchbook is really great. It makes me, I mean, doing this, like, reminds me of being a kid drawing on phone books. There used to be a thing back in the day called a phone book. 
uh, had everybody's numbers in it, and we used to like draw mustaches on the people that were on the cover because everyone deserves a good mustache. Um, so this always kind of makes me think of that, of like, it doesn't have to be the greatest, most beautifully refined drawing, it can just be a doodle. All the doodles, Jess. This is the important. You just gotta keep on doodling. Doodle for life. It's our new t-shirt design. Doodle for life. That one turned out pretty good. I didn't even have lines moving on for that. Womp womp. All the time, so said, Katie, I hope you're feeling better. Uh, I don't want you to have a cold because that would make me sad. <laughs> oh no, are you still drinking all that orange juice? Okay, good. I'm glad it's not bad. I'm glad it's not bad. Tis the season. I know we're uh, trying to line up times to go to like a drive through flu shot place this weekend because I feel like it's, it's coming. Oh, good. You got a good cup of halftone. Good. Drink up that halftone. Katie's preferred beverage is halftone. <laughs> if you don't already watch her streams, you should. Go over to Cartoon Katie. She's the master of the preferred program known as Illustrator. You're welcome, Katie. I hope Todd heard that. <laughs> you sent it in for production? Fabulous. This is the coolest ever. So. Yeah, Katie's stream yesterday. I think, Chris, I think you were there for a little bit. Uh, made this beautiful, beautiful sticker that's now in production. That's exciting. That's pretty, pretty great. Next up, enamel pins. Don't give those away for free, though. Just saying. But that would be super cool. What was the other one? Uh, uh, oh, it was a dope PS. That's right. Oh yeah, pin game, pin game strong, girl. You do that. I think that they like are the perfect site, right? They're these little like perfect little squaresies. Would be great. I must hydrate before I draw with my left hand. This is a perfect time for left-handed drawings because whatever. I wonder if I should change pens too. Okay. I feel like a, I feel like a toddler. Uh, like, I don't even know if I know how to hold a pen right now. <laughs> okay, let's see. I know, it's like, where do I put the buttons? How do I use my hands? I don't even know how to sit. Should I stand up? Like, I don't, this is gonna be, oh, I could just use line smoothing though. This would be the time to use the tools that you've been given. 
Look at that perfect circle with my left hand. Thank you, sketchbook. Thank you, Santa Claus, for making this possible. This is so hard. Thank goodness this doesn't have touch. Junk. Maze balls, totes goods, right? That's the other, my other favorite thing. There's a couple artists in Portland that have this really like rough, sketchy uh, style that I feel like is very, it's very sweet. And you're like, I could draw. And I feel like anytime you look at someone else's work and you're like, I can do that, even though there's a lot of thought process that goes into it, it's always good. Take that opposite day. Booyah. I'm just gonna keep drawing these little, actually maybe we'll do a line over here. Yikes. All right, who's keeping a watch? Oh, what, ugh, ugh. That was junk. Who's keeping, keeping a watch on that? Uh, Time. I know. See, Katie, I feel like because you use Illustrator and because Vector is so like smooth and refined, it's tricky to do that rough scale. I think Kate Bingham and Burke is a, a artist here in Portland that just has this like it's so great. She has such a good eye, and it's just these like little doodles. It's like the phone book doodles, right? It's the stuff you feel like you see just out on a napkin somewhere, but there's like her compositions are really great. So everything, it's just everything she does is pretty rad. Uh, but yeah, I feel like Illustrator would be tough for that kind of rough, rough aesthetic. All right, you let me know when I can quit drawing with my left hand. This is murder, murder. That looks stupid. Also, I can't control Z with my left hand. That's dumb too. Yikes. Jess, this is a struggle. <laughs> like, I'm just gonna draw this little circle here. I'm just gonna draw a little circle with my left hand. <laughs> I feel like, I don't know, maybe the guys can answer this. When you guys are drawing with your left hand, do you feel like you press harder, like for more stability? Maybe it's just me. I don't even know. I feel like I'm gonna push this stylus straight through the screen. Kidding, I'm not pushing that hard. Oh, what did that do? Get out of here. I took my little dot away. Oh, you're like, you're dropping it. Yeah, I can at least like hold the pen, but I feel, yeah, it's like I have to like get real aggro with it. Make sure it doesn't like slide out of my hand off the screen. I don't know if you guys can see out the window behind me. I almost set up the dog cam, but oh, because you know you're probably gonna erase it. I am sticking with these left. I will not erase any of these uh, left-handed lines. We're just gonna do it. We're gonna keep them all, all in their janky greatness. Because at least I feel like with the radial tool, you can keep the jank, but since it's repeated, then it looks intentional, right? Right. Ooh, chips, what kind of chips? They better be good chips. Okay, I can't handle this anymore. I'm switching back to my other hand. I feel like I've tortured long enough. So what else is happening out there in Twitch land? Hold on, I'm rolling away. Everyone good? It's Wednesday. Uh, it's like the middle of October already, which is weird. Time flies when you're drawing circles. <laughs> Jess, it's hard. That actually would be a cool project. Maybe we all submit of like left-handed doodles. That would be that would be funny to see who's a who's this crazy ambidextrous people out there.
Oh, that would be, I know, Magma Studio opposite Daystream. Which then, when someone redeems opposite points, then you get four minutes of glory drawing with whatever your preferred hand is. It's a great idea. It's a great idea. I like it. I still want to do a group doodle, group doodle day, which sounds like Yankee Doodle Dandy. Uh, group doodle jam on the 30th only because I need a reason outside of your stream, Katie, to dress up for Halloween. So, you know, if you're down, you know where to find us. Oh, Mr. Doodle is the most remarkable human of all times. He is the greatest. I feel like every time he puts a pen in his hand, it's gold. Yes, I love his work. I do also love the fact that when he does, he's done, he's done a few events with us in, uh, in the UK. Um, and he wore, I mean, he wore, so for everyone that doesn't know Mr. Doodle, go look, <laughs> go follow him on IG. Um, but he'll like doodle, he'll draw on his hats and his clothes, like to his socks, to his shoes, like the whole thing. So he just like can blend in uh, with whatever doodles he's doing. But it's so, it's just a really simple black, typically black on white. Um, it's amazing. It's amazing. And he just it seems like such a, such a character. He's got like crazy red hair. This line was junk. Well, now I don't. I don't like that. Let's get rid of all this. Let's get rid of all that crap I just did. Okay. Junk, I tell you. <sighs> Katie, you are that entertaining. You just need bad PS socks. And then you'll be set. Once you've got some halftone. Oh, why don't you make halftone socks? That's a great idea. Here for the marketing tips. Here for those tips. <laughs> don't use that word on my stream, Katie. <laughs> if you're in the chat, just don't read that sentence. There's a cootie word in there. <laughs> It's the worst. Worst word, so descriptive. You would think it would be a good good quality and I mean it is it's just like too descriptive oh thank you oh, who have you, you guys done no more no more that word. <laughs> trash <laughs> please don't hurt yourself Katie you're already feeling ill faint of heart don't use such foul language to make you feel worse. <laughs> Is it her go-to? That could be another. That's a sticker. How you d <laughs> the the style that you did the bad PS sticker letters yesterday, just of a of a choice cartoon Katie phrase, would be very uh, on brand and gross but hilarious that I would actually put on my laptop because it's funny real good that's a real oh, that could be that's a good sticker pack yep 
Everybody likes sticker packs and patches. Patches come later. Oh yeah, welcome. Welcome to the veto emote. <laughs> if only it had the sound, veto. That would be real great. It's really, I feel like it's going to be a very, uh, very useful emote just to, yeah, there's a lot of hours put in. I have to stay up late agonizing over so much, so much, but it's here for everyone to enjoy. I still feel like it's a uh, the specs for making those emotes because they have to be so small. Like I can't, I just can't do it. That's why Christopher does it because it's real tough. It's real tricky. They're like the tiniest little beans, and like how do you get so much, so much detail in that tiny little, tiny little space? Yeah, it's like every, every pixel counts. <laughs> Look at that veto fire. Veto fire. Pretty snazzy. Mm -hmm. Oh, I should do a Halloween manzala. Duh. I don't know what that would look like, but we'll figure it out. Next one. Next one. See, it's so zen. So I, I will prescribe this. It's a new doodle, your art prescription for the week. If you're feeling out of it or like stuck on a project. <laughs> oh, an octopus manzala. That's a great, I mean, because, yeah, if you start with a little like octopusy little octopi face, then its arms go out. Pretty great. Pretty great. There was one we did earlier earlier this summer we did a coloring book or like activity book for i think the meals on wheels and one of the girls on the web content team did this really great mandala with little like into us tablets and stuff and little pro pens real cute no i haven't hit save thanks night but save successful Eight octopi. That's a lot. So many legs. <laughs> Night butt. Brought to you by Night butt. Creature from the Black Lagoon. I guess he, no, it wasn't an octopus. What was the, there's like a, or maybe it's 10,000 leagues under the sea, or 20,000 leagues, however many, a, like a handful of leagues under the sea had a big lake. Evil Kraken squid. Yeah, some amount of leagues, like a couple, like, four, five leagues, you know, 
pretty chill. <laughs> pretty chill. <laughs> Someone Google. How, how much is a league? Five, 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 five kilometers. Oh, the metric system. About three miles. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. <laughs> the best. I, you know, just a country full of rebels here going against that metric system. It's all right. That's a lot. Yeah, so I mean, it had to have been at least like three leagues under the sea for that giant octo monster to live there. Just my, just my guess. many cans of beans is is league uh i like 12 the family size cans right that's it that's my guess <laughs> just go out in a boat and start stacking up cans of beans on the ocean to see how tall it can get. Silly. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear, Katie. Yeah, totally not polluting. It's for science. It's scientific. I mean, also, they could be like, t I mean, they don't have to have beans inside. It could just be a can. But I do love 20,000 cans of beans <laughs> under the sea. Uh, what would we sacrifice? Would it be like uh, red beans or what is a country mile? That sounds like 2.76 country miles, like different than a city mile. There's like city miles and country miles. We got a country mile and a city mile. Yeah, chickpeas stay. Black beans stay. I did make some chickpea curry last night. It was delish. Totes. Kidney beans out. Sorry. Where's all those bean fanatics out there? <laughs> That's a lot of beans. Quality bean measurement. That's our new universal measurement. Is uh, the basic basic bean method of <laughs> measuring <laughs> distances. This is how many family size cans of beans will it take you to get there? I support this. I like it. I think it's. It's the wave of the future. Is 
there someone walking by, someone behind me carrying fluff? This is the entrance to a joke. I'm falling victim to a classic blunder of Christopher's puntastic jokes. <laughs> Creeps. Yeah, you guys gotta look out for me if someone's peeking through this window. I didn't set up the doggy can. Uh, I didn't see any pups out earlier, so. I hope he wasn't a creeper. Bags of fluff? I wonder, I mean, it's too early for holiday decor. Or maybe it was insulation. I feel like there's some contractors in the building. Oh, cobwebs, that's true. We've had real cobwebs like that in our backyard lately. The spiders are ridiculous right now. And so the cobwebs are super thick and like, um, they're just thick and they look like cotton and it's, ugh, it's gross. Yeah, I'll, I'll take a picture if I see a giant spiderweb somewhere <laughs> out, out in the streets of Portland. They did also, so we're in an area called the Pearl District. It's really cool. There's like a bunch of restaurants and coffee shops and little shop, shoppy shops and galleries and stuff nearby. And a block, so like this direction is north, that's south. Um, a block east of us is a street, a street, 13th Street. It's got like a bunch of coffee shops and stuff and they've closed down a couple of sections so the restaurants and coffee shops can have outdoor seating which i when i drove by earlier today they were putting up tents which is exciting because i fear since there's restricted or restrictions on you know how many people can sit inside a restaurant then like what do restaurants do in portland for the next nine months while it's raining outside but Tents, tents are the answer. So that was fun to see. Although one of them was clear, which I feel like will just turn into a greenhouse, but it's okay. I hope you guys can't hear that. I think Carter was talking about strange strange noises in the building when he was here on Monday and I think I might be experiencing those same strange noises. Oh god, is that what they're doing at your house? Is roof construction? Yeah, I don't know. I think um, they might be like renovating or retrofitting one of the floors. Uh, oh, the wood chipper people. For the love, Katie doesn't feel good. Don't use a wood chipper. That's rude. But I don't like this one anymore. I'm going to start a new one. Every time they make a noise. <laughs> I feel like you just sit there like, okay, wood chipper. Hopefully it's not going all the time. That's kind of crazy. That would be a lot, but. Oh, a blanket fort. That's exciting. Blanket forts are the best. Do you use chairs for your blanket fort uh, or couch or a combination of chairs and couch cushions? I think the max we can do is, is 12. Ugh, yeah, chill out, wood chipper people. So this is what I was talking about earlier with that lock feature, is if you want to do something off-centered, you can, which is pretty cool. So I've done a couple mandala little doodles that 
had like multiples in there so that you could move the center of your radius around. <laughs> you with the blanket in your desk. That's still a pretty, pretty good setup. And if we're all there with you, that's, that's a pretty epic uh, blanket for it. Little do little do doodles in the middle, little daisies. A perfectly symmetrical uh, spider web. I've had some good spider webs at my house. I do, I don't want to walk through them or them to be too close to me, but I do like to look at them. <laughs> Your blanket fort comes equipped with high speed internet. I wouldn't, I wouldn't doubt it. You gotta, only the best. another spooky, spooky thing. Let's turn that off. Oh, duh. Pumpkins, cats, and, like ghosties, life, mathematics, things like that. That's all terrifying. Clowns. I'm not drawing a clown though. That's. Ooh. Clowns are the worst. And <laughs> not being able to find the remote. Terrifying. I don't know if you're like our house where we've got two. I try to like not be the house with 15 million remotes, but everything of course comes with a remote. <laughs> Wood chippers are scary. Sanderson sisters are the best, especially when Kathleen and Jimmy rides a vacuum. Hilarious. Also, Tim Curry is our patron saint of Halloween. He's really the most amazing. Oh, Jess, if you find that instructional uh, manual for blanket forts, please share. Oh, shoot, I didn't watch that Tim Curry. Shoot, I've failed. I failed. I'll watch it when we get home. I wonder if that... I should see if that movie's on Prime. We can do watch parties now. Ooh, could be hilarious. I just want to do watch... I think we're going to maybe just do watch parties on my personal Twitch stream and just watch scary movies. Could be the best. You can watch me get scared. Yeah. Okay. I'll see. We'll see if we can find it. I think... To do watch parties, they just have to be videos and movies and like TV shows and stuff that are on Amazon Prime, so we'll figure it out. Oh, I bet it is on there too. Hmm. Oh, I don't care. That's fine. It doesn't have to. It's Tim Curry. It doesn't have to be scary. I mean, it can be, but that's okay. Ghosties. <laughs> I 
I don't know where that's going, but oh well. We could watch Legend. Um, oh, Jess is in your story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need this. Thanks. I, the pretty little ghosties turn out pretty, pretty great. Pretty great. Um, yeah, Legend's a good one. What's another good, like, Halloween? Halloween Town, of course, is super cute. I need to go back and rewatch Pumpkinhead because I think there's a scene where he's wearing some um, sought after Nikes. I don't know if they're like Air Jordans or anything, but he's got on a pair of Nikes that like sneaker heads that are into Halloween. Try very hard to find, which I think is hilarious. Another cool thing that you can do, I'm gonna back this up, hold up, is you can adjust the number of like radio lines that you're working with. So it, it throws off your pattern and it can be really wonky and like wonky in a great way or like wonky in a, in a terrible way that you get really mad at yourself. So I started with 12, uh, let's go down to six. Um, I think sometimes if you work with like the symmetry and like the number balance of whatever you're creating, you can, um, I don't know, it just adds like different visual interest to it, which I think can be really cool, or it looks like junk, so you just gotta try it either way. You have two options in life, it'll be great or it'll be trash, and then if it's trash, you just throw it out and start again. <laughs> That's my life advice. Oh, is it? Yeah, I feel like Illustrator would probably want you to stay. I mean, it is. you have to be very thoughtful about, like, changing those radio segments. It. I feel like Illustrator would want you to stay on whatever you're working with, but I think it's because it's a little maybe smarter than Sketchbook. But if, you're, if you think about it, you can use it to your advantage. I've done a few mandalas that are very, like, floral, looking so when you have like multiple petals or leaves or something you can like I don't know you can make them like more busy or less or you just got a lot of good good variety I wish there was a way to like set like you guys could push a button in the chat and it would sound an alarm because now I want to know if there's people walking <laughs> behind me. Pressure's got me spooked.
Oh yeah, that's right. Oh yeah, we could do that. Like you had your little corgi, corgi guy set up. I like that little corgi. Yeah, the little corgi needs a, um, I don't have the, no, I don't have the alarm set up on this computer. Um, I think this is, this workstation is one of the ones that we just, when I was trying to do like just basic setup on everything, that's, I think that's as far as we got on this one. Um, we gotta bring that corgi back and put him in a little, little costume. Corgi in a dinosaur costume or something. always scary when I have an idea. The pet fighter. <laughs> Christopher, you <laughs> it's so hard. It's very hard. Because now you want to adopt them all. What are you updating, Katie? Are you also updating the Pet Finder app? Dogs for everyone this Christmas. It'll be the best holiday ever. Sorry for your loss. I am excited for you to uh, have a more updated version <laughs> of Windows. Though. Oh, there's so much that comes with Windows 10. Although there's that, oh no, I think the new update um, has the, doesn't have the same like driver set. Uh, Windows 10, when it first came out, had this fall creators update, which was when Windows Inc. then was like, circumventing the Wacom drivers specifically in Photoshop and that oh okay I'll save um it wasn't allowing pen pressure and or pressure sensitivity in Photoshop it was a that was a night nightmare oh that's right you should have it on the mobile studio yeah yeah oh yeah how's your computer build I actually um I want to try to build us like a super beefy com I don't like these this was supposed to be fire and I think it looks stupid so guess what go away um trying to build us a computer for the experience center to just have like a streaming computer and I want one that has a bunch of capture cards so whenever we're oh you found it Jess yay I'm super excited to see this uh manual um but whenever we're allowed to have in-person events we can live stream in here and I can hook up like all the Cintiqs to one uh the case the press the actual bits yeah it's tough hopefully things are shipping on time i feel like that's a thing people are dealing with right now is stuff just not shipping will have those stickers before your computer is built. I feel like building computers is super tough. 
It's real hard. I need Carter to draw a zombie on here is what I really want. Or that spooky tree. I don't want to hydrate tonight, but I don't want to. percent graveyards for the win I don't like that either I don't know do another ghosty I'm just gonna draw ghosts right now actually maybe I'm gonna save that I'm gonna come back to that later let's get crazy 16. Ooh. Yep, Carter, we're doing it. Spook Halloween, spooky spooks only. I'm gonna need your help with that one though. I might actually send you this TIFF file. <laughs> help me. I have seen a really cool, I'm not gonna be able to do it, but how many slices does pie normally have? Eight? Um, Someone did like uh, a mandala where they were using words to create the designs and it was super cute. Uh, how do I spell pumpkin? <laughs> I can't spell. Uh, but they did like pumpkin pie or something and then it looked like a little pumpkin pie. It was pretty cute. I saw that on the internet. Oh yeah, you should have sketchbook. Yes. <sighs> group doodle. I wish group doodle had a symmetry tool. That would be amazing. Oh yeah, pizza would work too. That's yeah. I like it when there's like that cool text-based art. Pizza. Chris went and got chip. Christopher, you never told me what kind of chips you got. I should get chips. I have a bunch of guacamole at home. Mmm, avocados. Oh, it's okay. It's all right. <laughs> I forgive you. that Nutter Butters are my favorite cookies of all times. Salt and pepper chips, always good. Is this a thing? What is this Nutter Butter sandwich cookie? I mean, it sounds great. 
I guess you could make it like a peanut butter and jelly nutter butter sandwich. Cookie extravaganza. <laughs> Another. <laughs> I don't know if I told you this, but I also have a Steve, and I feel like that uh, referring to the sacred cookie of the Nutter Butter as that would also make him uncomfortable. That's hilarious. I might have to might have to try that one. It must be a Steve thing. Does your Steve have a van? mine does. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> it's like, a, yeah, it's a, it's a, you gotta catch them all. I don't know, have I met a bad Steve yet? I feel like I have met a bad Steve. <laughs> oh, your Steve has a drum kit. We have a bass. We could have a band. Oh yeah, it's be your band. Cartoon Katie and the Halftones. We're here. Sometimes uh, when we're playing pinball, because we have a pinball table that we've rented that's in our basement, and uh, Steve will, he used to be in a band and he's not anymore, so he'll like turn on his amp or whatever and play his bass, and then when it's his turn uh, to play pinball, he'll just hand me his bass, which he's also a 6'5", so the strap on it is like way, it's like way down here, and it's, it's huge, and I just, I'm not... I am not 6'5". I don't know if everyone noticed that, but I'm not. Uh, and then I just get to make a racket, which is great. Oh yeah, I'm terrible. If we were in like, uh, like experimental noise band, totally, totally into it. And then we could just say it's jazz and it would be accepted. It's a good, good plan. I like it. <laughs> we can get you a tambourine or cowbell. When we have one of those little like little wooden it's like a wooden thing you run a stick on I don't know whatever that's called also a slide whistle slide whistles are always good yeah we all play bass bass was like the instrument all the cool kids wanted to play right <laughs> it's very true the slide whistle is it's a really underrated instrument I think we have a train whistle too oh guitar would be legit I feel like if you played guitar though you have to go like full 80s um, I think there's a Bobby Brown video it's probably my prerogative or something where the guitar I almost said guitar uh, the guitar player is like getting down. That's real great. That's real great. I mean, but Cartoon Katie and the Halftones does sound like a ska band, so maybe we do need some trumpet. I think the trumpet slide whistle combo would be a real. A real unique sound. <laughs> Just drums, three bass, and slide whistle. <laughs> oh, it's it's really it's coming together. This is great. This is great. This is great. I guess the drum could also have just like a cowbell attached to it because I feel like there's always. There's always a need for more cowbell. 
Yes, it would be very unique. One of a kind, if you will. Never heard before. Probably should never be heard in general, but it's okay. Yeah, gotta have that cowbell. Those dots? Sure, we'll keep them. Nope, that looks real dumb. I'll just take this on. That line smoothing tool does not like dots. Anti dot propaganda. change this song because it's a very I don't know if you guys can hear this at all it's like a weird motivational song I don't like oh wait it's changing never mind thank you Spotify excellent I know I tried to get Spotify well there's we have Spotify on this lap on this workstation um but I think because because the Cintiq doesn't have speakers, it was, I don't know, it was just having a day. It was really sleepy, it was like too, too chill. The chillest of chill vibes. Hobart. We're ready for some puns. I'm actually going to change the station. Change my tunes. I'm going to wheel over because this setup is ridiculous. <laughs> Katie, I see you wrote pun champ and I read it as pun chump. So I think you might just need to go as Todd Hobart pun chump. Yeah. 
Weg nach oben und die Schuhe geschnürt. Fick auf die Drogen, fick auf alles, was nicht gut auf mich war. Mittlerweile hab ich viel zu verlieren. Also pack ich es an, anstatt nope. darauf zu warten, dass was passiert. Ha? Fokussiere Sonne. That space art station. <laughs> Lo fi Todd Hop. That would be, that's a great, uh, like, playlist name. Todd, you're on, you gotta pull together a playlist now. I know, this is this, um, I think, I think Carter found this channel. It's called Space Art. It's real, I dig it. It's real cool. That would be a great playlist, Todd. I think group project, Todd puts a pl together a playlist. I got real loud. It's fine, we're going with it. Todd, I'm doodling today to show everyone that even the inexperienced artist can create something that looks relatively cool. <laughs> Oh, is it an artist called Space Art? No. Oh. Totally right. I don't read things. I just click on buttons that have cool images and make neat sounds. Yeah, I think a lot of, I mean, I, a lot of mandala art, I think, takes references from, like, Eastern design from, like, India and Morocco and stuff, but I always like the, um... I don't know, like, lotus flowers and, like, the leaves and... Oh, there's always kind of those graphic like bold lines and shapes in it so that's where my mind goes i got you i got you although now this music's real spacey so i feel like Oh, what is Cartoon Saloon? Wait, why do I know Cartoon Saloon? Thank you. Secret of Kells is great. Yeah, yeah, you get that cool, like the Celtic, I like the Celtic designs where you've got like the tree of life in the middle and it all goes around and does crazy, all the cool like Celtic knots are. Oh, a song of the sea on Netflix. We finished, well, we finished Lovecraft Country. This first season of Lovecraft Country is done. We're now anxiously awaiting the, Man the Mandalorian. I know, this is good. Space art. Check him out. Spotify. Pretty, pretty cool. other favorite thing is literally because I just am doodling I like have no uh I mean I love these but they're not like anything super important that I can just start another one and end up with this is how I ended up with like 40 in two hours that last time <laughs> oh apple tv plus for the burbs for the burbs I would have to actually draw like a thing. I mean, oh no, this is the best cat. Nope, that's not the best cat. <laughs> that's it. Cat. <laughs> I call this cat. It's 
Someone did some cool, uh, like draw a cat with the limited, limited line art or something, and it was something like that. But I don't remember what it was. Now I can't draw it for you. It was a very cool uh, exercise of creating recognizable imagery with simple lines that I obviously didn't pay enough attention to because I don't remember what they did. Actually, maybe we have too many lines. Let's do, let's do 10. Nope. Nope. Space turtle. <laughs> like space toytle. Everything just ends up being flowers. That's just where. I, oh, yeah, Todd does like turtles. His ghost had a turtle. Also, Katie, remind everyone of that charity you're doing. It's for. I think, I think it's called Child's Play, and I only remember that because Child's Play. Um, but you're doing ghost. Ghost creatures, ghost creatures, whatever. You're doing art for people, for charity, so you should tell everyone. You can find information on our Instagram. It's a good art for a good cause. That's it, ghosty avatars. Oh, that was a beautiful circle though. Did y'all see that? Look at that. <sighs> so satisfying. Not my, not my true line work. Yeah, video highlight that circle here. Hold on, let's see if I can. It's, I mean, gotta use the tools that these programs give you. No, that was less glorious. Also less glorious. That was terrible. Pre pre decent, pre decent. Yeah, the ghost drawings are amazing. So if, for those of you that are in the charitable spirit, Go get yourself a ghost stab, it's a... I don't like that second ring. I'm getting rid of it. charitable spirits all around us Woo. so good so good oh yeah christopher hey here for cheese how are you coming with that air horn uh air, <laughs> air horn button for our streams <laughs> i'll send you over uh, a recording <laughs> of my air horn burr, 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 burr. that's it that's the one <laughs> Add it to your list of things to do. Oh yeah, see this? I don't want that many. I don't want that many spaceships. Oh, hi 
hydrate. All right, I did bring two two things of seltzer just in case. Airhorn takes precedent. Kidding, kidding. You can do it while you work this weekend. <laughs> kidding, also kidding. That was like moderately mean, but hilarious for me mainly. Nope, I'm trying to draw a spaceship and I'm really not doing very good. Maybe it's too big. Maybe that's my problem. No, I love me a good flying saucer. See, when I was a kid, when did I start fly drawing flying saucers? I think I, I was really into the Aquabats. Let's all have a moment for those in the chat that also grew up loving the Aquabats. And so there was a lot of flying saucer drawing and space drawings that I believe came with, <laughs> it is getting saucy, came with the, my love of the Aquabats was some good cartoony flying saucers and if you aren't familiar with aquabats please do yourself a favor and google i built martian girl from planet z planet v planet c one of those from planet cvs longest receipts ever <laughs> Todd, here for the here for the puns. So good. So good. I feel like the pressure is on. I feel like I should start like prepping for a marathon or something. I know the night bot just wants me to stay hydrated. I am admittedly terrible about drinking water, so. Shut up, night butt. Killing me with those reminders, right? Too much, man, too much. Alright, let's. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Christopher. I know, I don't ever work on a Cintiq, so. As I slowly start crouching into the corner and you can't see me anymore. Do a stretch. That's what we should do on our Twitch stream is stretching for artists every morning. <laughs> Just everyone wake up and do some stretches. Stretch your fingers. Make sure you don't get... T I don't know how to counter counterbalance like tennis elbow. It's true. I mean, even, I mean, I have it, this one's on the flex arm, which is pretty cool. Um, you can't see it, but it is nice. I mean, at least you can like bring it to you, but you still end up slowly hunching over. We're all going to have hunchbacks in the near to distant, near soon, soon future. The soon future. 
it's the new words. Near to distant future. What's this? That is huge. Nope. Maybe I want that to be less, too. The soon ages. Thank you, Katie. This sort of reminds me of Goblin. Pretty great. Maybe that's why I like it. Space Goblins. warnings and stuff. Yeesh. Yeesh. Oh yeah, this is my favorite part. I always forget about this and I'm not sure how visible this is, but you can get into the brush properties and really like get on some different, uh, the harder you push, you get extra good thick squiggles. Um, Keep it super light so you can have your really thin line. It's real lovely. Real lovely. Thanks, Jeff. Outer space needs mandalas, too. Center of the universe. Right there. I want that to be like... <laughs> it's really, it's kind of spooky and I love it. <laughs> the Mandalorian. <laughs> Todd, you're killing me. Hilarious, hilarious. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm literally messing around. Oh, that's a silly brush. I haven't saved. Thanks, Nate, but... It's so pushy. Yeah, sure. No, thanks. <laughs> pink on the wrong layer. Wrong layer. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Sorry, guys. Throw my pen into the microphone. Let's throw a little alien face. Oh, 
like this one too. need to make Todd his own his own emotes custom set so good at drawing with my left hand I'm like a total professional you don't even know what you're in for I this will be a fun one it's fine bring the heat this is the last one y'all can do right let's see if I can do this whole thing oh do you see how janky that little line is <laughs> I know, it's true. I have not reached final form yet. It's soon. I'm just gonna make it work. I don't know why I, uh, like drawing with my left hand, like I have to draw left or right to left rather than right to left. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know if this does sound a little Sonic-esque. Oh, I have to go, I didn't get that star, like the Super Mario Brothers, like, that's the song now. You hear this? I can't draw with my left hand. It's so hard. I don't even know how to hold my pen. Like that. You can't. You guys can't see my arm. I'm doing real ridiculous things. I thought I had smoothing on, and this is not smoothing my lines. This is junk. <laughs> I know, here, uh, I was doing this, the good old left-handed twist, uh, trash. Hold on. <laughs> this is just gonna be very organic flower, right? I, I like don't know how to draw. I don't know how to do a arm hand function. This is a dahlia. This is gonna be the prettiest here. I'm gonna add little things in the middle now to make this all look the same. Yeah, it's not too bad. This is, see, I'm telling you guys, this is the greatest practice of all times. Just let it go. I'm now just making a dahlia. Pretty cool. Todd thought he could get the best of me. Now I think we're getting, I'm pushing, and now it looks like a mum. Now I wanna fix these. I don't like this in the middle anymore. Okay, get rid of that. Do something in there. Totes, totes mums. Like mums, mums are good for um, keeping away like bugs and mosquitoes and stuff in your garden. Little did you know, Todd. Little did ye know. I don't know what else to do with this, Mom. 
You know what I'm gonna do? Do this. Draw another, another mum. Yeah, no bugs. Like I said earlier, the spiders this year are off the hook. Are off the hook. <laughs> they are fire. Um, I also heard from a few friends that they've been having issues with uh, like fruit flies, which the fruit flies in our house are. <laughs> Am I mumbling? <laughs> Uh, fruit flies are crazy right now. I just think the bugs in general are real nuts. Yeah, tons of spiders. And they're huge. Like, the spider population of Portland right now. How much time do I have left with this left hand thing? Uh, the spiders are, are crazy right now and real big. And, like super thick spider webs, like real dense. Hey, Jim. How's it going? Hey, Jim, are you guys working on a new book? That's a kumquat kid productions. Him and his daughter write really adorable children's books. They're pretty great. I'm, I've been tasked with the... Oh, cool, you just submitted your zine. That's awesome. I'm excited to see that. Um, if you're wondering if I am left-handed, I am not. I am normally <laughs> right-handed. Uh, and I've been tasked with this opposite day to draw with my left hand. So you can watch me suffer. And I'm just drawing mums. Although that first mum was really great. These ones are, they're okay. <laughs> go do some work, go do some real work, Katie. Uh, enjoy your blanket fort, and I hope you feel better. Drink some more of that half tone. Uh, get some emergency or airborne or whatever magical drugs they sell you in Canada. Your choice. <laughs> Fresh hot half tones. Okay, I'm stopping. I'm going back to my right hand. So sorry. Maybe hand cam was cooler than face cam. Jim, when's your, um, oh, you said it'll be out soon. I'm wondering when that zine will come out. I'm ex excited to see it. Sorry, I'm so aggressive with this microphone. Oh, cool. That's exciting. Ooh, what was that? Let's crank it up to a hundred over here. too symmetrical. It's okay.
don't think these are the right leaves for mums, but that's okay. In my pretend world. These are the mum leaves. Oh, we'll have to look it up. We'll have to look that up. Jim and post. Also, make sure to share it on Wacom Connect for internal sharing purposes. Pop quiz, what other colors do mums come in? I feel like I always see them in orange, like orangey yellow and red. Look at this, I've been doing this for two whole hours, guys, and it didn't crash. Yay! Feeling pretty great about that. Maybe next time I'll try to get, uh, I'll get SketchUp installed on this Cintiq. So we can do some make some furniture. synthetic brush, not too shabby.
You know what I wish I had right now that I don't have set up with this is my express key remote. Tisk tisk. Tisk tisk on myself for not getting that guy plugged in. It would be real nice. Which one? The... You'll have to show me. This guy? Top right. The, f the square top, baby? That guy? Oh. That does look like a U brush. It is. Oh, I still have the smoothing dynamics on. They are real great. I mean, there's so many secret, like, secret awesome features in SketchUp or Sketchbook that I feel like I kind of forget. I mean, I obviously don't, I don't doodle every day and I probably should, but you forget all the fun tools that are in here. Thank you, sir. I do, I'm like these very like pretty fall, pretty fall colors. Now I'm just getting going back to like being a kid and going through each and every single brush that's on here. Always forget there's some really good 
like really good ones. Although I do always like to just smush everything together. It's great. Oh my gosh, guys, look at what time it is. It's almost four. We did it. Todd, as soon as you get that uh, playlist uh, together, you'll have to share it with us. Now you're on the you're on the spot for that too. Share it with us, and then we'll do a live stream with your beats, your chill beats. <laughs> Just one song on repeat the whole time. <laughs> guys. Look at that. Look at that. We did a thing. I'm going to save this one. Let's look at all these. Let's look at all these silly things that we made today. Made a handful of goofs. Did I save them? Is anything smart? No, they're just sketch two, three, four. <laughs> Five, six, seven, and eight. What's this one? Oh yeah, that one turned out pretty good. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. What else did we get? What else we got in here? Cool, my pen's not working. That's fine. <laughs> Ugh. Get out. Don't you love it? It's a... It's the sign. Thanks, Tan. You know, those symmetry tools are a real joy. So this one, I don't know if you can see next to this, uh, the turning spiral of death. Um, that was the first opposite hand challenge. <laughs> oh, curses. Well, I did it. I hit four o'clock, and now Sketchbook wants to close on <laughs> Oh, Mumvember is a great, that is great. Mums and chrysanthemums are beautiful, beautiful flowers. Definitely some of the best, best fall flowers. Well, guys, I think now that Sketchbook is angry at me and wants to quit, I think that might be it. Look, guys, I did a whole two hours all by myself. Not too shabby. Thanks for tuning in. Um, gosh, what do we have coming up? Today's only Wednesday. What do we have coming up this week? Friday. Christopher's doing a live stream. It'll be way cooler than this. Maybe not as chill, though. We'll see. Now we can have a... Thanks, Jim. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, we'll have a uh, contest to see who has the chillest of chill vibes. It's on. I'll bring chips mainly just for myself. Um, but thanks everyone for tuning in. Of course, find and follow us on all of the socials. Um, we are most active on Instagram and Twitter. We do post all of our upcoming events, of course, on Facebook and the likes we've got. What is this week? Yeah, so Christopher is on Friday. Next week, um, oh God, is next week the 20th already? Let me look at a calendar. Yeah, so next week, actually the 20th at 6 p.m., on Facebook Live, um, we are doing a live stream, kind of like a Halloween-inspired sketch session with Terrell Whitlatch. Um, she's a really amazing creature creator. She actually did a lot of the creature and character design for Star Wars Phantom Menace and a few of those other films, plus a number of other things. Um, that is not going to be on the Welcome Experience Center channels. That will be on the Rose City Comic Con and or and or awesome con um facebook live channel so i've been trying to post um to see if there's like a direct link to it but i'll keep posting about it, it should be super fun um yeah terrell is amazing 
also super, just super lovely, wonderful person and just like brilliant, brilliant artist. So that is on the 20th. And then of course we will be back on Twitch for our regular, regular streams on the 21st and the 23rd. Um, we are also, thanks for those veto, <laughs> thanks for those veto stamps. Um, today, as soon as I get back to my computer, um, I am going to post a video that we need you guys to vote for. So it is the two uh, battling warriors in uh, Carter's Clash of Cronies series. So I think it's, we've got the Rock Golem and the Lizard Warrior. So I'm going to put that poll up on Twitter. Instagram hides the polls within 24 hours. Twitter is for life. So I'm going to put that poll up on Twitter tonight. And then we have until really like the 22nd to vote. Yep, Lizard Warrior versus Rock Golem um, in the epic battle of all epic battles. Uh, it's going to be really great. But we need your votes to figure out who is actually going to claim victory. So keep your eyes out for that. And... I know, laser beam that rock boy, just like pew, 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 just like that, pew, pew. Um, but yeah, keep an eye out for that, and we, of course, will see all y'all on the internet. All right, everyone, thanks so much for watching. Let me figure out where my cursor is. It's over here. Thanks for tuning in, and we will see you soon. Bye.